Alright, so we're going to do a little bit of a thing called Project um, 3 Horsepower Torque Converter, I guess. Um, I already got a lot of the work done on this, but I figured I'd want to record the rest of it. Um, so, what I did today was tighten down the engine on it to the torque converter. This one's actually missing a part of the torque converter, so I'm gonna go have to dig a bolt out for that and obviously the other side of that. But here's where all the magic happens in the drivetrain right here. I gotta line that um I gotta line these. I already started aligning it by just loosening that um whatchamacallit that drive um sprocket, that's what it's called. And so what I'm doing right now is removing this carburetor to clean the carburetor out and definitely strap this to the tractor with some um, gravel in it and rotate that gravel around knock all the rust out of there. Get some fresh gas in this thing and hopefully we'll be ripping today. Alright, so here's how I've done so far. I got the carburetor off, and it's not looking too good for me because there's a crack under there. Maybe I can save on it, maybe not. Um, here's my fuel pickup right here. I got all this stuff off. Definitely going to have to clean this tank out because there's water in there. Got it out for the most part, but it needs a 9mm under the thing. So, what I can do is go to my wrench tree over here and... Looks like we got to harvest a little bit. Um, fall is the best time to pick these. And just start getting that tank off. Alright, so how I'm going to clean this tank is I have a bunch of nuts and bolts inside it right now. And I'm going to put it on the 8 ends wheel and just drive around. Because when you do it... Alright, so this is taking too long to dry, so let's, there you go. That'll make it dry real fast. Alright, so I tumble cleaned with some nuts and bolts this gas um, can and clean the carburetor. Let's see how this runs. Just give it a little, way too much. Oops, that was a little way too much. There we are. Full throttle, because it's probably going to flood itself. Here we go. Three, two, one, first start in 10 years. And too much. So I guess this thing didn't like what I was doing, cause um, I got started and I tried to add more, and it might or might not have um, the carburetor might not have spit back in in my face and all over the place. Probably not. Couldn't be. I got it. Yes. Holy moly. Oh, whoa! Ah, ah. Woo. Well, I forgot to, you know, plug back in the oil thing, so that's what happens. Oh, uh, wow. That was incredibly stupid of me. Ooh. Okay, I tightened everything up. Everything's alright again. This 
thing's got some terrific throttle response. Not sure what's wrong with this engine, but it keeps, um, when it ran after a while, it just releases a bunch of oil to it. So I put a little bit of fuel in this thing, it's almost at a quarter of a tank now. We still got good oil pressure but hasn't really ran for very long, but yeah, good deal. It's running good, very, just a little bit of smoke, that's all. Come on. I'm also letting this thing run for a little while. It seems to be running a little rough, but it's alright. So, this thing wouldn't idle because I didn't have my governor on it. I didn't have the linkage all connected. So it's running now. Good.
Wow, it runs good.